in 2011, we were the first talent agency in the world to start a dedicated social media practice. We brought in uh, a phenomenal expert who built the social media practice from scratch for CNN and prior to that, the National Basketball Association and prior to that, CBS News uh, or Evening News with Katie Couric. And we brought this person in to give us in-house expertise that we could advise our clients on how they should be using social media to market projects, grow their brand, connect with their audience, and ultimately even generate revenue. Um, and, and what we've seen in the year plus that we've had a significant focus on social media uh, is a couple clear trends. Um, one of them is that we found that listening in social media is every bit as important as talking or posting, that what other people are saying is just as important as what you're saying. So it's important for companies, uh, just as it is for the artists that we represent, to be listening to what people are saying and to be able to respond uh, and, and, and be part of that conversation. Um, listening can be as simple as monitoring what's being said, or it can be as complex as working with some of the amazing technologies companies, technology companies out there that make it possible for people to really, really, really dissect and analyze the social media conversation. For example, many media companies are now using a technology product called Crimson Hexagon, which is scalable and can be used by companies as large as a movie studio or as small as a medium to small business. And Crimson Hexagon uses a really, really complex and proprietary algorithm that allows you to analyze both the volume of the conversation about a particular subject, but also the sentiment. So how much are people talking about something and when they're talking about it, is it positive, negative, or neutral in a contextual way? Um, and we're seeing uh, companies in the entertainment industry as well as individuals use these types of technologies to listen to the conversation in order to make strategic decisions about how to move their business forward. Another uh, really key trend is that partnerships are very important. Uh, we're seeing companies, especially larger entertainment companies, begin to partner more frequently with startup companies in the social media space. Everyone's looking for what that next big phenomenon is going to be. There's been Twitter, there's been certainly Facebook, Foursquare, uh, and others. Uh, and people are interested in a lot of these social media tools and technologies, especially in the uh, social television space. Um, I think that the same thing applies to small and medium-sized businesses. Find companies in the social media space that can resonate with your brand, with your consumer, uh, with your goals, and find interesting ways to partner with them. A third thing is, uh, you know, what we like to say is be strategically casual. And what we mean by that is, you know, when you put something up on the internet, it's very hard to take it down. And because of that, you have to be very strategic about the messages that you're putting out there. At the same time, Twitter posts, Facebook posts, they can't be written as if they were pulled from a press release. It has to be conversational, it has to be casual. People have to feel like they're having a conversation with you as opposed to that you're speaking to them. So being strategically casual uh, is really important. Social media has become an incredibly powerful tool in the entertainment industry for both companies and individual artists. And many of the tricks and tools that are being used apply to medium and small businesses as well.